it's not the size of the dog in the fight, but the fight, the size of the fight in the dog. And and I know so many men who are punks, and they throw in the towel, they give up, they call it quits. Uh, the first sign of defeat, the first sign of a disagreeable spouse, the first sign of disinterest, you pay too much attention to what they say. People speak in their, they're speaking in their emotions and they're in their feelings and they know how to say things to push a button. They know how to say things to shut things down. They know exactly what to do to show their disinterest. And oftentimes we're not willing to stay in the fight long enough to see a change. Yeah. I mean, we were in that situation. Danielle was done. She was closed off. She was shut down. But I didn't allow what I saw to be the determining factor uh, in terms of what I would do. I had to ignore the facts. I had to not pay attention to how she was showing up. I had to remain committed and resilient, and I had to have stick to I had to work. I had to push. I had to convince her. I had to convince myself. I had to pray. I had to pray as if everything uh, depended upon God, but I had to work as if everything depended upon me. I sought counsel. I read books. I made changes. I was consistent. I did what I needed to do. And guess what? Slowly but surely, things began to change. So I think a lot of times we're looking at our current situation and we're saying, oh, well, I might as well throw in the towel. She don't want it. She said this one day. She's saying this another day. And sometimes I have so many men who come to me and say, why don't you just make a decision? Like, I'm not trying to waste my time in a relationship with somebody who don't want it. Well, Joker, really? Wait a minute, really? So think about what you did. <laughs> think about the hurt that she's going through. Think about what she's enduring. Understand, there's a marriage story that you have together, but there's an individual story that each of you have. Maybe she's shut down and saying nothing. Maybe she's constantly going at it and she's at 10. But you're, you have to understand, if you were unfaithful, there was pain and brokenness that caused you to do what you did. When you did that and she discovered it, it created pain and brokenness in her. Her pain and brokenness was then redirected back towards you. That's the crazy cycle. So now everybody's hurt for different reasons. And now what do we do about it? Right? So if you contributed to that pain, you are obligated. It is your responsibility to contribute towards that healing. And so you got to be able to endure the fight. Sometimes you got to go through a long struggle to get to the other side. It's just like a journey. You get in a plane. Guess what? There may be turbulence right? It may be bumpy. Can you decide to get off the plane because you don't want to take the journey? You will die. Will that plane turn back around because you're uncomfortable? Nope. You've got to endure. But guess what? You wind up landing. You get off. It was successful. So in this process, in this journey, it's not going to feel comfortable. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be pleasant. There are going to be some dark days and some days are, are worse than others. But that's the journey you have to take in order to recover. But guess what? On the other side of that journey, oh my God, what a beautiful destination. Mm -hmm. And we know so many couples who've had great relationships after the discovery of an affair because they went through the right process and they were willing to do whatever it took. And so that's what, what my message would be for you and all of us who are watching who feel like my spouse just is not interested. Well, that's, what, that's how they're supposed to feel. That's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to shut down. They're supposed to be in pain. They're supposed to be hurt. They're supposed to be mad because of what has happened. But we don't want to stay trapped uh, in that sufferer pattern. We want to transition into the explorer pattern. But it takes work and commitment to get to that other side.